Well, I think that, the, that uh, so much of what we, what I think of social capital has come down to, okay, we really need to trust the police force. We do need to trust, most of us have a pretty good trust with the, the local government agents. Uh, they may be so frustrated with the political level, but generally I think that people here are really good at being able to trust that the people working for the town or the city of Parksville, that these people are doing what they're supposed to do and that they're here basically to help make our community better. I think there's a pretty good level of trust on that. When we get into things like uh, where, where we let know where people are less located with us. So if the agencies are less, that they don't have a real presence in our community, I think that's when people begin to start feeling uh, more threatened. And that includes, I mean, we're, we, we have uh, an awful lot of uh, vacationers. We're a, a site, we're a place for recreation and, and uh, vacationing. But those people are often people not local. And so you get caught into some things like, okay, so there's some bad things that are happening. So there's, there's too much drug use on the street. There is, uh, you know, there, there's these other sets of issues, like how do the drugs get in the community? Well, it's really hard when you have people who are impersonating vacationers coming in and selling the dope, right? So, you know, it's kind of confusing when we get people from the outside where we can't be insular. Our communities cannot coexist. To coexist, we absolutely have to have others around us and, and interaction in the community. It's not the, it's not the, the right, the, it's not a wrong thing. But the, the idea that something local, somebody that's accountable, so somebody you know is going to be there the day after next to help answer your question. Somebody you can actually talk to in person. <laughs> it's a big deal, yeah.